All right, today I want to show you a little bit about elastic and inelastic collisions. Right here we have a mallet which has two different rubber ends to it. One says happy and the other one says sad. What we mean by this is the sad one, when it hits this surface, is going to just not bounce back. But if I flip this around, the happy side is the side that when it hits the object, it bounces back. Now, if I swing this uh, mallet back far enough and release it, one of these is going to make the brick fall over. Which one? The happy side, the bouncy side, or the unhappy side? Well, let's try it with the happy side. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull it back as far as I dare, and here goes. That one did it. On the other hand, if I switch it around so that the sad side is facing, Let's try to reproduce this as much as we can from the last time. And we pull it back as far as we dare and release it. Nothing happens. Why does this happen? One way we can think of it is that when the sad one hits like this and stops, it's only half of the impulse that is given when the other side hits and then bounces back. We can think of the hitting as imparting some amount of impulse, and then the bouncing back as imparting the rest.